Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a fish for the month of November? Are you guys in this space of just really loving and just focusing on your creative endeavors, your passions, the things that you want to create, the things that you want to build your ancestral wealth up of that comes from the fruits of your labor? <laughs> hey, boo here, this first time watching my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss. I make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards gonna say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm gonna do that. All right. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the love. Thank you so much from the humblest space ever. Okay, you guys. I wasn't planning on being late for the month of November, but we trying to plan a move. My son going to the Super Bowl. It's going down. So because of that, you guys. Bear with me. I also tried to lose my little voice. Get some part of the Ascension Flu uh, gang gang <laughs> amongst the readers on YouTube. So you guys bear with me. I wish I could talk a little louder, but I already feel like I'm like really overextending it. Okay. So you all, this will be for the month of November. I will be coming back with mid months for you guys as well, y'all. And just y'all, thank you for the love. If uh, you're new to the channel, you're uh, new subscriber, you guys. Hey, hey, <laughs> we're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Poggy vibes only over here. Positive type teams, okay? It's not going to resonate with every damn Pisces. You guys take what does. Leave the rest. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. If you want it to resonate a little bit more, get you a personal. For sure, okay? So, with that said, <laughs> let's jump into it. We're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month of November, okay? All right, so Pisces, what I got for you all is final decisions, perspective, trust issues, letting go, soul contract, life lessons, deception, pulling strings, charity, new home, spiritually protected, Falls in your lap, new love, compromise, unexpected blessings, alignment, collaboration, mental health, liar, obsessed, healer, spiritual teacher, mediumship, financial blessings, soul contract. All right. Whew, Pisces. Okay. Let's get it. All right. When I was shuffling the deck, I actually, you guys know I have my angel message mixed, uh, my angel messages mixed up with my Barbieri deck, which is the zodiac, okay, as well as the moon, the energies, okay, things of that nature. What fell out for you guys, you guys, was Capricorn. So some of you guys could be starting something new with the Capricorn. Others of you, I did hear reconciliations, and some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. But I definitely feel the sense of ending, ending things or letting things go for the space of your peace as well as your harmony, okay. Harmony within self, and I also heard balance restored for some of you all. Okay, so there's a need for you to focus on what it is that you're trying to create and only see what it is that you want without expectations. Or, uh, really, for some of you all, this has to do with your damn divine counterpart. You've manifested this person, and it's like you guys are moving um, on the same frequency in order to bring this sense of like co-creation and alignment into your into your uh, into your 3D world here. Angel message I got for you guys. Passion. Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with movement forward, speaking your truth. Some of y'all this has to do with um some of y'all may be leaving jobs during this time. Others of you are actually um coming up with like more so a lot of y'all are rich in creativity. I feel like some of y'all are sitting on million dollar ideas and for some of you all you're ready to bring that shit into fruition okay for some of you all um okay i keep hearing this term so this must be something like this mass when it comes to the art of manifestation some of you all could be getting into quantum jumping okay funny because i watched a video uh regarding that today um but some of you all 
targeting into quantum jumping, quantum physics, okay, metaphysics during this time. For some of you all, you may want to start some type of business or practice within the occult. So this could have to do with, um, I kept hearing love spells, okay, also uncrossing potions, okay, but that's for some damn body, all right? But there's a feel, there's a fear of how you're going to be received or how you're even going to market your damn business because you don't want to be seen as, um, a witch bitch, but to be honest with you, it's there. You, you're being called to. I know some of y'all laugh, Mocha is silly, I know, but you're being called to embrace who you are, every being of it the dark, the, the dark side, the shadow side, as well as your light aspect of yourself. And I feel like you're going to do so by embracing this sense of authenticity and focus on the things that you want, focusing on the things that you want to build and, um. How you want to grow within your endeavors. And for some of you all, this has to do with you connecting with like-minded individuals or some type of um, spiritual community as well. So some of you guys could also be uh, interested in some type of workshop or spiritual community during this time, okay? I heard collaboration, okay? And for some of you all, um, some of you all, you're going to speak some type of truth and take what the hell you got with you, baby, and focus forward and show a motherfucker. And I definitely feel like you are going to be harvesting, baby. It's a harvest time. I keep hearing harvest for you all. The next message comes from Archangel Ragnar. Relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now, okay? So some of you all, some of y'all could also be in this space where you can see the auras of people during this time. For others of you, this definitely has to do with um, just being real with yourself and focusing on what it is that you're passionate about and you want to go get that shit, not waiting for it to come. For some of y'all, you could have been in a space, in a place of complacency. In the month of November, I definitely feel that a lot of you all are moving out of that space of working from your comfort zone. But you guys are, some of y'all are personalizing aspects of you that now since you've healed those traumas, can you share them with the world? But it's like transmuting your pain into power, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with a relationship. You're gaining a different perspective with the because of the work that you've had to do on yourself to be able to look at things from 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 a space that is like multi dimensional, okay? Some of you all this could have to definitely have to do with the heart um this some type of expansion around the heart chakra. You guys receiving a lot of massive ideas from your divine guidance, from your angels, from your ancestors. And you moving on it, but not just not just sitting sitting complacent with the idea things are coming into this harmonious space for you all. Okay? So let's dig into Pisces love life and see what the hell is going on with y'all. See what else do you have? Some arrival rules as well as cross watching kind of Pisces. Month of November. What can my Pisces expect in the month of November? Some of rising Venus as well as the cross watching stuff for Pisces. Some of you all, yeah. Some of you all could have put your affirmations out there and you're just waiting for them to come into fruition again. I keep hearing harvest, okay? For some of you all, um, you could have, yeah, some of y'all could have, yeah, whatever it is that you've been manifesting. If there was any type of blocks when it comes to a relationship or some type of partnership that someone could have been trying to block you using magic or block you when it comes to some type of intent, somebody was sending some of y'all the spirit of confusion. For some of y'all, this could have to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another water sign, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um, I definitely feel, yeah. For some of you all, there's the sense of wanting some type of reconciliation to occur with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I feel like... One person wants one person wants a um some type of re reconciliation and the other person is kind of wanting to I keep hearing out of time, out of time. Someone feels as if they're running out of time towards reconciling the situation and bringing some type of harmony back to it, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're holding on to good, the spirit is trying to get you better, but you have to release this sense of um the need to be in control of the need to hold on to something so damn tight that so I keep hearing reasons and seasons, reasons and seasons. 
people come in your life for reasons and seasons, okay? For some of you all, this could definitely be involved in this damn Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. For some of you all, this is returning back to some of the things that you wanted to do or your childhood dreams. So returning back to hobbies. Things that make you feel empowered. Things that make you feel good about yourself. For some of you all, you could definitely have a, a family dynamic with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Someone has been manipulating energy when it comes to like some type of moon magic to prevent a cycle from ending with another person. It could have been even causing blocks um, towards you. For some of you all, I feel like your lover has, this could be their mother or their child's mother. It could be your child's mother, your mother, Pisces. Yeah. And for some of you all, some of y'all, there's a need to top some type of unfinished business, this sense of unfinished business, okay? For others of you, there's this sense of feeling as if somebody feels like closed out of a situation. Someone feels as if they want to do more, all right? And others of you, you could be dealing with somebody who you have children with who's very manipulative. This person could be an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus. I feel like a cycle is trying to close, but someone is really trying to hold on to that damn cycle for their life. To prevent another person from completely moving on. For some of you all, you could have been dealing with the sign of Leo. This person, some of y'all took, I, I keep hearing remove access. Some of y'all remove access. You took, you took your, you took your energy back from this person. And now this person wants to come in. They want to open up. Somebody want to kind of put their damn toe in the water to see if it's safe now, Pisces. <laughs> and others of you, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like for some of you all, you could be removing yourself from the situation due to some type of third party or information regarding the third party coming out possibly with the mother or father or somebody's child, okay? And for some of you all, yeah, some of you all feel trapped in your head or... This Aries person, this Capricorn person who is trapped in, trapped, in, trapped in their head about what they could have done to make things different from the past. Someone feels as if they're on the outside looking in because the person is now a bit defensive, okay? And for some of you all, this is how someone's energy was in the past, but in the month of November, I definitely feel that someone want, someone's wanting to come forward, uh, Pisces, and bring some type of compromise to you. Someone may even be giving you some type of ultimatum. Are you giving somebody this damn ultimatum, especially if they were tied to some type of family dynamic and have been telling you that they're going to leave? Some of y'all are setting boundaries when it comes to dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo that you have children with. I feel like this person could have also been attached to another earth sign. I keep hearing mouth roll to check. Somebody mouth roll to check that they ass couldn't cash and it caused a tall moment. I feel like whoever this is, Pisces, somebody's coming back. Y'all have people coming back to reconcile. For some of you all, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is still holding on to somebody else from their past. I feel like for some of y'all, if it's not physically, it's emotionally, which is causing that, that sense of like distraction when it comes to this person opening up emotionally to you. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for some of y'all, somebody is fearful of commitment because they're focused on building their stability. And I feel like the other person is not, the other person wants to hold on for dear life. They want that sense of validation from, yeah, take it how I go, okay? But it looks like someone wants some type of validation from a fire sign. Well, this could be the fire sign needing validation from you to know that it's safe. Um, to actually invest in this union because Pisces, I feel like somebody fucked you over before and I feel like you really learned for it to be played as a damn fool again, okay? Some of y'all could have an awkward situation where there's like someone who you can have a child with and maybe one of their family members are trying to like engage in dating you or whatever. Someone wants to keep a relationship a secret. For others of you, somebody is trying to come back and make an offer to you after you cut their ass off because they were attached to some type of family dynamic or they had a hard time cutting off somebody who they had kids with, which kept the relationship stuck, kept you in this space of wondering, spying. Some of y'all could be aspiring on the fire sign or a fire sign sign on you. If you're dealing with the aspect of, yeah, if you're dealing with an air sign, strong Aquarius or Gemini, someone feels change here. And in the midst of them resisting that change and resisting this shifting 
and this this sense of shifting in energy, somebody's blocking their blessings and spirit is saying, don't allow the, don't allow yourself to be a karmic crush to this individual. Okay. If you're dealing with the sign of um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could definitely be another uh, some uh, another situation where you have kids. You, some of y'all could be finding out that somebody's pregnant. For some of you all, you could find out that your partner has not been the most faithful. Some of y'all could have somebody um, pregnant by your spouse or your ex-spouse, and this could be an old friend of yours. You could be getting news about that. For some of you all, you some of y'all could be finding out that somebody's resisting um, making a solid offer to you because they're still holding on to some type of possibility to this Aries and this Earth sign, this Libra from the past. Aquarius, Virgo, for some of y'all. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Virgo and this person has some type of codependency issues. For some of you all, this also has to do with the aspect of like mental abuse, okay? And for some of you all, there could be fights or arguments regarding your children during this time because the mother or the father feels left out, but somebody feels as if the other parent is like negligent. There could be threats of custody. Somebody taking somebody to court. The other person feeling a sense of fear. And I feel like it's only to project this sense of fear because they feel left out based on their own decision making. Okay, but I do see a solid offer coming in here, baby. And I need to take a leap of faith possibly with um, a Capricorn towards Virgo that is new. For some of you all, this person is returning and they've done the work of walking away from somebody from the past because you cut their ass off and they knew that you were serious. Some of you all are being plagued by dreams of someone who you're having a hard time letting go from the past. This person is a past life soulmate, but spirit is trying to, you know, you're going through a transformation when it comes to a particular relationship. For those of you who are in existing relationships and there was a, a, a issue with people with, with your partner opening it up, or your partner wanting to discuss some of the childhood trauma that they were, were having a hard time getting over, someone's ready to open up and talk now. They don't want you to go Pisces, okay? So this is what I have for you all. One second, let me get some advice. Spirit, what's your best advice? What's your best advice for Pisces for this time? For the month of November, what's your advice for Pisces? Yeah. God damn it. I love when Spirit co-create co with me. Listen, it's a time of harvest. For the for all of the bad relationships, Pisces. For all of the harshness that you've had to release, harsh energies, people, places, things. Spirit is trying to bring you this sense of new. You've planted beautiful seeds, so you just have to stay receptive and don't rush into anything, especially trusting your damn self. Slow down. Some of y'all moving too damn fast. Don't fall crazy in love during the retrograde. Some of these people coming back for the shit. This is about letting go. And some of y'all, these people are coming back to show you how much you've grown and to also assist you in understanding from a different perspective why you had to let that go. Look at you now. You getting paper, all right? So this is what I have for you guys for the month of November. I pray that this resonates. I love you all so very, very, very much. And again, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found below. Peace, love, and light, you all. Bye, babies.